hard enduro is a motorcycling discipline, taking in all the most challenging parts of enduro riding and turning it up to 11. Think motorcycle trials and motocross style obstacles which have to be tackled on a bike with lights and which could have a number plate. To take on this sport requires superhuman strength, exquisite skills and incredible tenacity. Enter Billy Bolt, stage left. Oh my god! Broke it. It's safe to say I'm in esteemed company here, as Billy is the first rider to win the World Hard Enduro Championship, winner of the Enduro Super Series, and three times World Super Enduro Champion. Today isn't all about moto though, because in addition to Billy's Red Bull sponsorship, he also rides for Santa Cruz Bicycles. That's right, a man who makes a living riding 50 horsepower motorcycles up and down cliffs, rides mountain bikes in his spare time. What is it that attracts Billy to mountain biking? We're here to find out, and I'm here to try and tackle this thing. Wish me luck. Is that good? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so here we are, I'm suited and booted, and uh, you've got the motorbike, and you're gonna teach me how to ride it, hopefully. Yeah, let's go. The power's in my hands. Firstly, give us the lowdown on the bike. Like The bike is obviously a Husqvarna TE300. Uh, starts life as just your regular road registered normal enduro bike. And then with a couple of little tweaks here and there, it becomes uh, suitable for climbing up the side of a mountain. So how much does it weigh, roughly? Well, struggle to be exact. I think about 107, 110 kilograms. So that's like four Santa Cruz Heckler e-bikes. It's in comparison to an e-bike, you do notice the difference. I think you probably get on it and go, "Oh, this does feel quite heavy." It's been detuned slightly, or, or wouldn't not detuned, but it's been tweaked slightly in a way that makes it a bit more rideable, and it's okay. more uh, the power is lower down in the power range just to try and get uh, maximum grip and maximum like maximum torque to get maximum grip and maximum traction. We're here, we've got a few cones, we've got a bit of a bit of a flat area, which I'm relieved about, no big rock steps. What's my first challenge? Yeah, well, I know we said challenges, but I think before I set you off in the woods, we should just do a few laps of these cones, some nice ovals, maybe just get you one direction and turn on, get you going in the other direction, just to, to be confident that you're, you're safe to venture off-road. All right, yeah, no arguments from me. Let's try it, <laughs> let's go. But no, genuinely, I can't touch the ground. Well, once you're moving, you won't need to touch the ground, will you? <laughs> Thanks. Right, so... Brake, uh, brake, yeah. clutch, yeah. throttle, yeah. gears. Yeah. Uh, do you How need do you to know anything it? else? Oh, I need to know how to start this it. This button. Okay, all right. Uh, press Fire. the button, a little bit of throttle, but you shouldn't need too much throttle. Wait! She's alive! I don't know, I feel like I should run behind you as a kid. Thanks, Dad. Right, you ready? Yep. He's off. Oh, leg out already. First corner. All right, okay. I gave it some beans. Happy so, now. All right, yeah. Now I'll do some jumps. All right, where's the jumps? Let's go and find some jumps. Right, you passed level one, here's level two. What's level two? Here to there. We said jumps, didn't we? What, over there? Well, yeah, well, I'd go past the log. I wouldn't recommend landing <laughs> before the log. There's about 30 feet before the log. Go on, send it. All right, all right. Jump. We'll see. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that is insane! Your run up started from about there! I'm not quite, uh, I'm not feeling that Billy, no. What, what about the return puff? Okay, I think I can manage that. Um, I will admit that was 
I was larging it up a bit for the camera, bringing you here first, but... Thank goodness. Just, just pretty smooth throttle. Beans. Okay, and what gear for that? Uh, first or second, whatever you feel more comfortable in. Second. <laughs> I mean, I totally meant to do that. That was sick! Oh, dude. Oh, I was like, I just saw in my head, like, looping out, and I was like, oh, don't loop out. Don't loop out. Oh, God. You got, like, ten foot of air. <laughs> Ish. Thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Okay, so how'd I do, Billy? Well, you passed. I don't know how... I've, I'd question how in control you were, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, people could probably question that about me quite often, so... I'm not worried about that, I think it was a pass with flying colours. So what have you got next to me? Um, I think we'll find you a bit more of a hill climb this time. Not a super difficult one, but a bit of a longer climb where you've got to keep the power on for longer. Okay, alright. Let's go. Well, I think I've kind of just unintentionally found your next step. The hill on the other side, I think, I think's got your name written all over it. Okay. All right, so how do I tackle this mammoth hill climb? It looks a lot bigger from the bottom. <laughs> I thought you would say that. Um, probably quarter throttle, I would say, second gear, and then just keep it smooth all the way up, like nothing too erratic. You don't really need to use the clutch or anything, just a bit of momentum, quarter throttle, nice and steady, and it should just pull it up nicely. Oh, easy! Nailed it. I'll be out of a job soon. How was that? Grease, greased it. It was, yeah, he thinks it's easy. Like, for me, it's not easy. I have, I have no critiques. Let's make it harder. Right, so Billy, tell us a bit about yourself. My name's Billy. <laughs> I'm 25 years old from Newcastle. And I've been a professional motorbike rider for six years now. So I actually started with trials uh, when I was a kid. Did, did that my whole kind of youth career, schoolboy career. I uh, got to like a world junior level at trials and I uh, just didn't really see a future in it anymore. So made the switch to Enduro when I was, was 19. Rode as like a privateer, just borrowed, borrowed the money and bought a bike myself the first year. Went to some races and did, did not too bad and then got signed by Factory Husqvarna for the second year. And, that's it, the story, the story goes from there. Okay, well that hill was too easy. Let's turn the level up for the last one. Okay, I'm only joking. We can ride up this stream now. Oh, thank goodness. Have you ever ridden a motorbike up a stream before? Nope. Oh, perfect time to start. Jump on, fire up there. It gets a little bit slippy around the corner, so just keep it smooth, gentle on the throttle, but it's got good tyres, so it'll grip nice and easy. Easy as that. I think you've completed all challenges. Cheers, Billy. Thanks very much. Uh, right, so shall we do something back in my comfort zone now and go and ride some e-bikes? Let's go ride some e-bikes.
Billy. So now I'm back in my comfort zone. Got the e-bikes out. Are you ready to ride? I'm ready to ride. Um, I actually dusted this off for the first time in a long, long time. Uh, last weekend, I was obviously had a wrist injury for most of last year. Uh, so yeah, buzzing to be back and excited to see what we can get up to. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that was sick. It's, a, it's a pretty big pull off our step down. Um, if you fancy another big pull, why don't we see how far we can send it off that one? What's your strategy? Go fast, big pull. Right, I've come back down. I've got a stick to mark where he lands, so let's see how he does. Send it! Oh god. Ooh. That was massive. That was just massive. You could probably yeah, go no. even further, but I got scared about how fast that was going. <laughs> I saw you like cranking into it. Okay, uh, right, my go, I guess. That's pretty good. Oh, God, that's that. far. That's many feet. Dropping in. Ooh. Did I go further or not as far? No. Oh, damn it. I reckon you've got more in the tank than that. Go yeah. on, do it properly this time. I think I'm like a foot and a half I've got to find somehow. Just break less, pull more. <laughs> I didn't break. Oh, pull more. I think, I don't really know either. Just. Ooh. Oh no. He's done me, He's done me like a kipper. Where are we going next? Let's find a hill climb. Climbs. Do you recognise this one from earlier? Yeah, this is the one I powered up on the motorbike. Powered. Good, good choice of words. Uh, be a good test for e-bike capabilities, I would say. It's got to be a boost hill, I think, eh? I think it's got to be putting in boost for this one. All right, send it. Boost it is. Go on, Billy. God, that's proper hard. It's actually harder than I was expecting, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna see if my gearing strategy pays off. Yeah, I'm off. excited to watch fourth up here. <laughs> we'll see if the Shimano power works, right. Okay. It's the leg power I'm concerned about. No, I've not got much of that. Fourth was a bad choice. <laughs> ah! <What? laughs> All right, I'll try third next time. Gets really, it, just like that last third really steepens up on you, eh? All right, attempt two. Come on, Billy, second gear pin. Ah! Oh. That's even worse! That was worse. All right, I'm feeling good about this one. I think this is the one. <clears throat> Send it. Smoked it. Nice. Right, this is the one. Go on. Oh! Yes! Victory! I'm so happy. I'm wondering why I'm celebrating. I didn't King even win. Hell. Uh, mountain bikes actually came around pretty recently. It was only uh, during COVID times and lockdown and, and all of that. I, w I was at home, I had nowhere, obviously live in Newcastle in the, in the middle of the city, had nowhere to ride a motorbike and, and I had an e-bike there, which I always felt pretty unsafe every time I did ride it. Uh, but obviously it was locked down or you could do your kind of hour daily exercise or whatever it was called. And like I said, I just thought I'm off. Might as well start having to go on this. I can't ride a motorbike. Uh, all my friends were off work. And I was actually riding with some quite good riders as well at the time. So I was just getting, you know, in amongst these gnarly trains, just going down these ridiculous dirt jumps, which I had no skill whatsoever to be doing. But started posting a few videos, 
and yeah, people seemed to appreciate what I was doing. Like I had no idea really what I was doing, but it was received pretty well online and, and uh, yeah, stuck with it ever since. What about this one? I think that looks perfect. As if it was meant to be there. Balance beam challenge. I think if we can get around the corner, yeah. it'll be really impressive. First try. <laughs> Dude, do you even need another go? Well, I'd like to have another go just to prove to myself it wasn't a fluke, to be honest. You've piled the pressure on me. Right, okay. Oh! Oh. It was solid up to that point, though. Yeah. I feel like I need to slow it down a bit for the corner. Are you going to try and get even further? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not covered in that wheel. I'll go trail this time. Trail, yeah. <laughs> oh. Trail's too fast. I'm sticking with trail. It's like a, a branch sticking out. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. You win some, you lose some. But anyway, anyway, should we go and see what else we can find? Let's find something Let's else. Go. Well, here at the waterfall, it's a pretty regular feature for us motorbike viewers, I think. How's it look? Dude, this is so far out of my comfort zone. I can't believe you're going to just send it. It's downhill, you've got gravity on your side. What? Whoa! Yeah, I wasn't thinking of going that way. Dude, that's so bad. gnarly. Okay, the bottom bit, the bottom bit's quite steep. Okay, so it's a my go. Oh, well, you're the only one still up there. Okay, I'll take a tactical dab. <laughs> Good lad! That is so grim. I'm just pleased I'm safe. I hope it looks gnarly on video, because that is seriously... He's like this taller than me, and he does it on a motorbike all the time. So he's like, yeah, yeah, that's possible. And I'm like, I'm only doing it because he's done it. Billy's just up there pulling crazy shapes and Dan's trying to capture the moment. <laughs> right, Billy, thank you so much for showing me some easy, hard enduro. You're an excellent teacher. Thank you very much. I'm pleased you've had a good day. You've been a magnificent student. And thanks for showing us some amazing mountain bike skills as well. Yeah, I don't know if skills is the right word. I just, I don't really know what happens. I just do it. Um, sometimes it looks good. I feel like sometimes it could be better, but uh, one thing I do know is I do thoroughly enjoy it and definitely want to do more of it in the future. Fantastic. Right. If you enjoyed this video, please do stay tuned for more. <laughs>